Are you finished yet? Not quite, but I should be done soon. Are you kidding? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, I know. But my meeting went a little late and I've got a few things I need to wrap up. I'll be done in like five minutes. Ten, max. Kevin, how many times have we talked about this? You have a family. You have responsibilities. I know. I'm sorry, but I'll be done soon. You can't keep putting your job ahead of your family all the time. Kelly is going to forget who you even are at this rate. Please, don't be ridiculous. I'm only going to be a few minutes late and I see Kelly all of the time. Do you really think this is the time to be making excuses? If you've got time to sit around making excuses, why don't you come home to your family instead? I know, you're right. I don't have time to argue with you right now. Let me wrap this up real quick and then I'll come home as soon as I can. Are you freaking kidding me? Answer your phone! Now! I'm driving right now, I can't talk. But you can text? No, I can't really text either. I'm messaging at red lights. Be home soon. You're really going to wish you paid more attention. I'm warning you! Hey, I'm almost home. I just pulled into the parking lot by the grocery store. Do you want me to pick anything up? I thought maybe I could grab some donuts or something as apology for being late. As a matter of fact, I do want you to pick something up. Okay, great. What is it? I was trying to tell you before, but you wouldn't give me the time of day. Sorry. I'm free now, so please tell me what you'd like. I ordered takeout from the steakhouse near your office. You need to pick it up. That's our dinner. Wait, what? I already paid for it by card too, so it's not like we can cancel. But that's like a half hour away. Well, I guess you should have picked up your phone, shouldn't you have? You could have written that in your messages. It's not like I wasn't checking at all. Not that I should have to check my messages while I'm driving. Don't blame me because you don't pay attention to me. Blame yourself. And why did you order from the place near my office? Because I like that place. It's one of my favorite steakhouses. It's a chain. There's one like 10 minutes away from our house, right next to the supermarket I'm currently parked at. Well, I ordered from the one near your office. You need to go pick it up. Oh my god. Maybe that'll teach you to pay more attention. Now, instead of sitting around parked in a parking lot like a creeper, why don't you pick up your family's dinner? I'm at the restaurant. They're saying they don't have any record of your order. Are you sure you ordered from here? Un. Oh, hey. Sorry, Kelly and I were eating. Oh, well, that's good. Did you see my message about the restaurant? Yeah, I realized I actually did order from the one near our house. I already picked it up. So that's what we had for dinner. And you didn't think that was worth mentioning to me? I drove all the way back here. Well, I know how you feel about getting phone calls while you're driving. <laughs> Seriously? Anyway, Kelly and I ate your portion anyway, so you might as well eat something while you're over there. You want me to eat here alone? Aren't you the one lecturing me about spending time with the family? Oh, so now the guy who's never home and always works late wants to talk about spending time with the family? Give me a break. I only worked an extra 20 minutes. Whatever. Try not to wake anyone up when you get home. Kelly's got morning practice before school. Morning! What, are you ignoring me? I'm waiting. For what? I thought maybe you'd apologize. You think I should apologize? For what? Eating your dinner? Grow up. First you work late, then you complain about me calling you when you're driving. Then you complain that I don't call you when you're driving. Make up your mind already! 
You're way too high maintenance, you know. Again, grow up. You know, a normal person would apologize for that. Actually, a normal person wouldn't have to apologize because they wouldn't have made me drive all the way back to my office as revenge for working a little late. Revenge? Please. It's just a normal misunderstanding. You really need to stop overthinking every little thing. Yeah, whatever. What, so you're going to pout? I'm not pouting. And that's not even what I'm upset about. You are too pouting. Thank God Kelly can't see this. She'd lose all respect for you. Maybe I should show her. <laughs> I said that's not even what I'm angry about. Uh-huh. Then what's up with the attitude? Don't tell me you're upset about that love tap I gave you this morning. Love tap? You slapped me across the face and shoved me out of the bed. I hit my head on the damn nightstand. Oh, come off it. You're exaggerating. I have the bruise to prove it. I know you fell and hit your head, but I didn't shove you off the bed. You just fell. I might have hit my head, but it's not like I lost my memory. You shoved me. I did not. I pushed you away from me because I was scared and then you fell. You were scared? Yeah. You're the one who slapped me. I told you it was just a little love tap. It wasn't a slap. But the way you reacted. You had the craziest look in your eye. I was so worried about what you were going to do to me after, so I pushed you away and you fell. Crazy look. I've never raised a finger against you. All I did was go to the bathroom and then you slapped me full across the face as soon as I got back in the bed. Then you pushed me out. Well, you woke me up. How? I didn't even use our bathroom. I went downstairs and used the guest bathroom. Yeah, and you woke me up banging the door closed when you went down there. I did not bang the door. And even if I did, how is that a good reason to slap me? How many times do I have to say that it was just a love tap? Love tap. And even if I did slap you, what are you going to do? Call the police? Tell them that you got beat up by your 130-pound wife? A big guy like you? What do you even weigh now, you big lug? You can't be an ounce under 190. I can only imagine the cops' reactions. <laughs> I didn't say anything about cops. I was just hoping you might give me an apology. I don't think that's out of the question. Maybe if you apologize for waking me up. Really? You think that's anywhere near as bad? Do you really want to compare who was worse? That doesn't really sound healthy. Just grow up and let it go. There's no way we can have a healthy relationship if you just want to keep lists of every little time you feel slighted. You know what's not good for a healthy relationship? Hitting your partner and then not even apologizing for it. No, you want to know what's not healthy? Growing up without ever seeing your father because he's always away working. How much time have you wasted this morning now on this petty crap? Your time and my time, by the way. Is this why you're always working so late? You waste all day texting people? Ugh, really? So you're not going to apologize? I don't remember you apologizing for coming home late yesterday. Now who's keeping lists? And I did apologize. I think I apologized like immediately. Scroll up. Whatever, Kevin. Just don't be late again today. Hey, honey. How are you? Hi, Mom. I'm doing okay. Same as usual. <laughs> How are you and Dad doing? We're good. I'm going to get promoted next month. Yeah, I saw your Instagram story. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. With the extra money and your birthday coming up, I thought maybe we could all go out for dinner. That sounds nice. Let me check Patty and Kelly's schedules and I'll get back to you with a good date. Great. Do you want to have dinner near your place or ours? Either way is fine. And I'm paying, okay? I don't want to talk about it at dinner. <laughs> Kevin, come on. We're not going to let you pay for your own birthday dinner. That's fine, because I'm going to be paying for your congratulations dinner. Oh, you're ridiculous. How about this? 
Since the drive is so long, how about we pay if you drive to us and you can pay if we drive to you? That sounds reasonable. Any preferences? Nope. Your father and I are happy with whichever. Okay then, me too. Like I said, let me run things by Patty and Kelly and see what works best. Okay, let me know. Hey, you! Uh, hi. What the hell are you thinking? Are you expecting me to prepare your birthday dinner for you and your parents? She told me that we'll be eating together to celebrate your birthday and her promotion. But what she really means is, Patty, sweetie, I can't wait for you to pay for my dinner. I won't do it, Kevin. I can't. Just tell your mom that we'll be eating at home. Actually, I was the one who suggested going out. And of course I offered to pay since they're the ones driving all the way over here. How could you do that without consulting me? You know that money is part of our house finances. It's part of Kelly's college fund, practically. I thought you would prefer to have dinner at a restaurant. You always complain when they come over. That's because they always stay forever. Your parents seem to be completely unable to read the room and take the hint when they've worn out their welcome. Plus all the snide remarks about my cooking and cleaning. Why can't we all just go over to your mom's house? Then I won't have to worry about cleaning up before she comes. My mom lives all the way in Grand Rapids. It's at least a three-hour drive from here. Ugh, I forgot about that. Man, I'm so freaking pissed. God, this whole thing makes me so mad. This is all your fault, Kevin. Mark my words. Once you get home tonight, I'm going to whip your butt so hard you won't be able to sit for an entire week. Jeez, calm down. What's with all the threats? You sound like a B-movie gangster. It's because you keep getting on my nerves. You're just so frustrating. You know, I still have a bruise from a few days ago. Remember? As I've told you before, you better fix that violent habit of yours. My forehead still hurts. Even now. If you hit me again, I won't let it slide. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Kevin. Don't you know that it's perfectly acceptable for a woman to hit a guy? It's called self-defense. But you know what they call a guy who beats a woman? Trash. Ugh, I just can't seem to reason with you. You are a lost cause. Happy birthday, Kevin. How's my favorite son-in-law doing? Thanks for the warm wishes, Greg. Did Patty get you anything special for your birthday? I don't know yet. I suppose we'll see. <laughs> Can I get you anything for your big day? How about a smartwatch? Or some premium white wine? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. It's fine, really. I'm just happy that you even remembered today was my birthday. See, that's what I like about you, Kevin. You're so friendly and easygoing. Anyway, how are things going between you and Patty? Uh, great. Yeah, thanks for asking. Well, that doesn't look very convincing. Did something happen? It's nothing, really. It's just... Just what? Tell me. Patty's been hitting me an awful lot lately. And over really stupid things. She flies off the handle when I don't respond quickly enough. And she even hits me whenever she gets fed up with something. Even if I have nothing to do with it. Just yesterday, Patty pushed me against the wall because she was annoyed that something was sold out at the grocery store. Her behavior has been getting increasingly worse as time goes by. I'm starting to get worried about her. Oh, Kevin, that's not anything to worry about. Just don't do anything that will get you in trouble with her. As long as you don't rub her the wrong way, you'll be fine. Sorry. Patty must have a reason for acting that way. Whatever it is, it's your job to figure that out and fix it. You are her husband, after all. And besides, she's never been that strong physically. Even as a young girl, she would often challenge her older siblings to arm wrestle. Only to lose every single time. <laughs> My daughter's a little weakling. I'm sure it couldn't possibly hurt that much. Let me tell you a secret, Kevin. Patty has always been a bit on the sensitive side. 
But if you treat her well, I promise you she will reciprocate with love and kindness. Patty can be a bit forward at times, but she's not a bad person. She's actually a really sweet gal. Anyway, Kevin, enjoy the rest of your birthday. Remember what I told you. Ugh, I regret becoming a mom. Had I known sooner, I would have never given birth to Kelly. What are you talking about all of a sudden? I am so sick and tired of raising her on my own. It's so darn tough being a single parent. You are not a single parent, Patty. Quit exaggerating. I also try to help out with raising Kelly as best as I can. I hang out with Kelly all the time on the weekends. And I'm the one who takes her out shopping all the time, too. I even help out with her math homework after coming home from work. What more do you want me to do? What's the point? You're working late all the time, so I'm the one who has to deal with her on the weekdays. And I have no one else to ask for help because you're working at that time. Ugh, parenting is such a drag. I should have never given birth to her. Don't ever say that. She'd be devastated if she heard you say something like that. What kind of a mom are you, anyway? So what? It's true, though. I'm only speaking my mind. That's all. So anyway, Kevin, what time are you going to be home tonight? I need you back early. My colleagues and I will be going out for dinner later tonight, so I won't be home anytime soon. I'll try to be back by 1 a.m. at the latest. Ugh, I knew it. Now I have to cook dinner tonight! On my own! Man, I'm getting so fed up with this lifestyle. We only have these dinner events about two or three times a year, at most. It's not like I'm away every other week. Besides, the entire company is going to be there. It'll look pretty bad if I miss out. All right, Kevin. I'm not even surprised anymore. You always seem to not be around when I need you most. I'll let it go for today. But this weekend, I want you to take Kelly out and don't come back home until after dinner. Got that? I don't care what you guys do. Go see a movie, sit in the park, go to a pool hall for all I care. Just don't be around. In the meantime, I'll be rewarding myself with some quality downtime at home. I deserve it, considering how much I sacrificed myself for this family. Kelly has a cold, Patty. She's been coughing nonstop for the past few days. Don't you think it would be better to wait until after she's fully recovered? Nonsense. It's just a cold. Just give her some orange juice. I'm sure she'll get over it soon enough. Just don't make a big deal out of it. She'll be fine. Just take her and leave the house for a day. I need time to rest. Hey, where are you? At the hospital. And what are you doing there? Have you forgotten already? This morning, I tried sneaking back into the house as quietly as possible, but you still woke up. You lost your temper again and started kicking at me. I was so startled that I fell backwards and banged my arm against the corner of the table. And right now, my arm's super swollen. I haven't been able to move it at all. That's why I'm being treated at the hospital, because it has a hairline fracture. Yeah, I remember this morning's incident. But why are you being such a crybaby about it? Was it so bad that you just had to go to the hospital? All you had to do was put some ice on it. You're such a baby. Gee, stop making such a big fuss out of everything, Mr. Drama Queen. I told you already, I can't move my frickin' arm. And it's not something that's gonna heal anytime soon. The doctor already told me that my arm's in bad shape. <laughs> no one told you to fall over backwards, right? Kevin, I think you need to train your sense of balance. Maybe you should start taking some ballet classes. It'll also help shed off all that belly fat of yours, you know? It's not funny, Patty. I don't need your sarcasm right now. Shouldn't you owe me an apology first? Me? Apologize to you? Why should I? What kind of a wife kicks her husband anyway? What are you, a thug? Well, none of this would have happened if you didn't wake me up, Sherlock. I didn't intentionally try to wake you up. Like I said, I was very careful not to make any noise. But I can't help it if the door clicks when it closes. You have two choices, Kevin. Either don't come back home at all, or make sure that the door doesn't make any sound when you close it. You know that I'm a light sleeper. 
I get woken up by even the smallest pin drop. Once you wake me up, it's nearly impossible for me to fall back asleep. And I need my beauty rest. Why can't you understand that? God, you're just so frustrating. Forget it, Patty. I don't want to hear it anymore. Kevin, you owe me an apology. Now. For what? Say that you're sorry. A few hours ago, you called me a thug and treated me like I was out of my mind. I felt insulted and outright offended. So apologize. Patty, I'm really not in the mood right now. Let's talk about this later, all right? I don't care whether you're in a good mood or not. Apologize to me right now. What about me? I've been putting up with your ridiculous behavior for the past eight years. Eight whole years. I won't be tolerating it any longer. So just stop. I'm warning you. Whoa, Kevin. I'm so scared. So, if I don't stop hitting you, what are you going to do about it? You going to hit me, big boy? Just try me, Kevin. See for yourself what will happen if you lay a finger on me. I saw your fists were shaking during our argument yesterday. I just pretended not to notice. But since we're already on this topic, what were you planning on doing to a woman like me anyway? Assault me? You've got to be kidding me. Do you think you'll get away with it? You'll forever be remembered as a wife beater. Man, I really wish you were a guy right now. Even for one minute. I would absolutely love to teach you a lesson. Aw, well, sucks for you, bud. Unfortunately, I'm not a guy, so there's not much you can do to me. The moment that you lay a finger on me, I'll tell the whole wide world about how abusive you are. Everyone will side with me, and no one will believe you. You want to know why? Because you're a man. Stop trying to test my patience, Patty. Let's not make this any harder than it already is. We weren't like this from the beginning. And stop trying to test my patience, Kevin, because you're really getting on my last nerve. Oh, and if you want to come back home, you better write me a sincere letter of apology. At least 20 pages long, preferably longer. And just to make sure you won't try to crawl back home, I'll be changing the combination on our front door. So don't even try to act smart with me. Hi, sweetie. I'm in front of your office. Do you have some free time? I want to have lunch with you. Mom, what are you doing here? Hold on a sec, I'll be right out. If you're busy, don't worry about it. We can always eat some other time. I'm not that busy, Mom. It's close to lunchtime anyway. I'll meet you outside. All right, Kevin. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for the lunch, Kevin. It was so nice to have a lovely date with my son. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We should do this more often. Hey, are you working another part-time job? Like construction work? No, why do you ask? I noticed that your face was covered with bruises. Where did you get those injuries? I mean, I'm sure it's not from your current job. It's just office work. Did you get in a fight with someone recently? No, not at all. I just tripped down the stairs the other day. That's all. Ouch! You should have been more careful, Kevin. I will from now on. I've been tripping over a lot of things lately. But it's really not a big deal. Believe me. Thank goodness. I was worried you got into a violent scuffle. Or a work injury. Take care of yourself. All right, Kevin? I'll be upset if you ever get hurt. I understand, Mom. God, you are so annoying. Why didn't you wash the dishes after breakfast? Are you expecting me to take care of everything for you? I didn't have time to, so I just rinsed it out with water. If you don't want to do the dishes, just leave it. I'll take care of it when I get back home. Why do you constantly get on my nerves? Can't you do anything right for a change? At this rate, I'm convinced that you're asking for a beating. Are you really going to act this way? I'm at my limit too, you know. Oh gosh, I am so scared. <laughs> I'm being serious, Patty. 
I've already told you countless times. You had better fix that nasty attitude of yours. Hitting people and making impulsive, hurtful comments have become routine for you. This has got to stop. If you don't shape up now, you'll end up making the same mistakes in front of others. Excuse me? Are you my boss or something? How dare you talk down to me like that? I'm not trying to talk down to you. I'm talking about upholding basic manners. Just be respectful of other people. That's all I'm trying to say. Do you think I'm a psychopath? You really think I go around town picking fights with random people on the street? As long as the other person doesn't create problems first, I have no reason to react aggressively. No beef, no drama. There is no justification for violence, Patty. None whatsoever. Of course, Your Honor. I completely understand. <laughs> hey, Judge Kevin, quit being your usual annoying self and be useful for once. After you get home, clean up this entire house and wash the dishes. Kelly hasn't had a proper shower in a while. She's starting to smell a bit, so make sure you get her to take one when you get home. Um, what the hell? Why hasn't she taken a shower? How long has it been? Since you left on your business trip. My business trip to Vegas lasted two full weeks. Are you telling me that she hasn't showered once that whole time? I guess not. It's not like I can force her to. She's a full-grown woman. Patty, she's seven. If she was a full-grown woman, I'm sure no one would have to force her to shower. As it stands, you can surely get her to. Well, instead of complaining, why don't you do it? Get off work early and convince her to take a shower. Got it. OMG, are you serious? Hi, Mom. Kelly has been begging me to let her come visit you guys. I was thinking about bringing her over. Do you guys have any plans this weekend? Aw, I've missed her too. I haven't seen her since your birthday. I'm sure she must have grown quite a bit since then. Don't worry, I can always make time for my precious grandchild. Are you sure? I mean, if you have other things to do, we can always come another time. No worries, Kevin. Just come over this weekend. I want to spend some time with my granddaughter. I should visit you guys more often. Sorry, Mom. I've been so busy with work. I didn't even try to make the extra effort to visit. Oh, well, it's all right, sweetheart. So is Patty also going to come over? I think so. She doesn't have anything else planned for this weekend. Great! I'll cook up a nice flank steak for dinner. That's her favorite, right? I'm sure she'd love that. I'm sure the both of you will be exhausted by the time you get here. It's quite a long drive. If there's anything else you guys need, just let me know. I'll have it ready for you guys by the weekend. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. Oh, Kevin. There's no need to thank me. I'm your mom, after all. That's what family's for, right? Well, I'll see you this weekend. I love you. All right, Mom. Love you, too. You remember we're going to my parents tonight, right? Mom says that if there's anything you want her to prepare, to just let her know. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Just take Kelly with you. I won't be going this time. What? My mom's making flank steak because it's your favorite. So unless you have an emergency to take care of, I'd appreciate it if you'd come with us. Kevin, it's frickin' three hours away from here. It's too far. And plus, you know I get carsick. Patty, you haven't seen her in almost half a year. I told you I don't want to go. We have to spend the night at that old rundown house, don't we? The last time we stayed over, I heard rats in the walls. Don't be ridiculous. There's no rats in the walls there. There was mold all over the bedroom walls and near the bathroom sink. Yuck. What are you talking about? Mom keeps that house so clean you could eat off the floor. It's cleaner than our house. Don't you dare start complaining about our house now. God, you're just like your mother. If you don't like it, maybe you could work a little less overtime and help out sometimes. I'm not trying to criticize you, but my parents' house is not anywhere near as bad as you're making it out as. Yes, it is! Not to mention that foul smell that kept creeping up from downstairs. 
It makes me want to puke just thinking about it. No thanks, Kevin. I think I'll pass. Patty, I get that you're frustrated. But let's just all go together as a family. Okay? My mom's eagerly looking forward to seeing all of us this weekend. Even Kelly has been raving about the upcoming trip for the past few days. She wants the both of us to be there. Fine. But this is the last time I'm going. Got it. Don't force me to go to your parents' house ever again. This will be the last time. I promise. Hey, is the car ready yet? Yep, bring Kelly out. I'll be waiting in front of the house. Okay, we'll be out soon. Patty, where are you? I'm downtown. Why? At this hour. And why did you scream and hit me across the head while I was driving? Don't you know that's dangerous? You almost got all of us into an accident. I couldn't stand your driving, Kevin. How could you cut in front of another car like that? Well, what else did you want me to do? I mean, the lanes were merging, and the car was yielding to us. Oh, whatever. I'm so pissed off by what you did back there. I'm just letting you know that I'll be spending the night at a motel. So don't expect me to come back until tomorrow morning. There's absolutely no way I'll be sleeping at your parents' old decrepit house. Nuh-uh. What? Patty, I don't have time to play games with you. Just tell me where you're at. I'll come pick you up. I said no, Kevin. And that's final. Mom's starting to get worried. And Kelly keeps asking for you. Oh, for Christ's sake. Jeez. Won't anyone in this freaking family leave me alone for once? I thought I told you to fix that attitude of yours. So what? I don't even have the freedom to choose where to sleep? It's only for one night, Patty. Can't you just bear with it for one night? Look, Kevin, you're only saying that because it's your parents' house. My parents would never allow me to stay over at a dirty place like that. Yuck. Okay, I get it. I understand how much you detest coming here. But my parents and Kelly are getting worried about you. Don't keep them waiting. Please don't make things more difficult than it already is. Just let me know where you are. I'll come pick you up. Then come pick me up here. I'll be waiting for you. I'm on my way. Hi, Greg. I have something to tell you. Hi, Kevin. It's quite late. Is there something I can do for you? As a matter of fact, there is. Your daughter is in jail right now. What? What the hell happened? I told you last time we spoke that she was flying off the handle over every little thing. Hold on a second. I know you're not about to tell me that you called the police on my daughter, Kevin. What kind of man are you? No, just hold on a second there, Greg. I ought to have called the police on her a long time ago. But no, that's not what happened. What kind of man are you? A husband is supposed to protect his wife. I was trying to protect her, actually. We're in Grand Rapids right now visiting my parents. Well, Kelly and I are visiting my parents. Patty jumped out of the car as soon as we got into the city and ran off. I was going to pick her up to make sure she was safe when she attacked me right in the middle of the road. She jumped out of the car? What kind of family are you running over there? A dysfunctional one, clearly. Like I said, I should have called the cops on her years ago before this violent habit of hers got so out of control. To think she'd attack me right in the middle of the street like that. You're despicable. Say what you want, but I did my best to keep my family together. I was doing my best to keep her safe. She attacked me on the street as soon as I came to get her. She pushed me down, jumped in the car, and then tried to run me over. It was actually a witness that called the police on her. They picked her up about ten minutes later, pulling onto the highway. Apparently, she was going to abandon me and Kelly here in Grand Rapids. Well, what did you do to her to make her do that? Nothing. We're just here for an ordinary trip to visit my parents. It had been about six months since we've seen them, and over a year since we've been to Grand Rapids. You know Patty hates Grand Rapids. I know, but once a year isn't asking too much. It's certainly not worth jumping out of the car, running off, and then trying to run me over. I've heard enough excuses out of you, Kevin. 
You need to man up and take care of your family. I don't know what you hope to gain by whining about it to me. I'm not hoping to gain anything. In fact, I consider this part of taking care of my family. Your daughter needs someone to bail her out of jail. So what are you waiting for? Me? Nothing. What are you waiting for? What are you talking about? Patty tried to run me over and abandon me and Kelly here. I don't plan on bailing her out of jail. In fact, I plan on getting a restraining order against her and then divorcing her. What? Have you lost your mind, man? Not at all. In fact, I'm thinking clearly for the first time in a long time. I have to protect myself and I have to protect my daughter. I suggest you do the same. After that, I did exactly what I promised. I cooperated with the police and pressed charges against Patty. As soon as we got back home, I went through with my threat to file the restraining order and for divorce. Luckily, Patty's mountain of evidence she left in hospital visits and threats over tax made it all a pretty open and shut case. Her constant complaining about raising Kelly made getting custody a breeze as well. I should have done all of this a long time ago. I guess I was embarrassed because I didn't feel manly. Maybe I just wanted to desperately cling to the family I had built. But my daughter and I will both be much safer now. I'll make sure of it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more content.